Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to do a password reset on a Cisco 3850 switch. With this particular model you can actually use a traditional serial to RJ45 or a USB mini cable and in this case I am going to use a USB mini and when I plug it in directly it will show up as a, a, a new COM port on my machine. So if you go to your devices you can see that. Now if you've read any of the documentation online as far as how to do the password recovery it's very similar to the other previous models. However you might have a thumb that looks like this if you go just by the documentation alone like I did. So let's just go through a quick example see why that might be. In this case we are going to we're trying to log in and well forgot our password we need to reset the unit. Well, we are going to power cycle it, and just a fair warning, it does sound like a jet engine, literally. You could put it on a VR headset or something with a plane simulator and just listen to the switch power on. Let's take a listen. Now as exciting as that may be, one of the things we have to remember is that this is not the traditional iOS. This is using the Linux version, the iOS XE. And so you actually have to let that boot first. And as you can see here, I have it sped up a little bit, but you can see that it's actually booting up. Once it's fully booted and you see this base Ethernet MAC address, now you can push and hold. And you wait for that string of LEDs there to turn amber. And this is the actual time I, I've, I haven't sped this up because uh, they say online, you know, 12 to 15 seconds. Well, with the old versions, you would push and hold it the moment you turned it on. It's not the case with these. So once you're here, you'll initiate your init or flash init. Once that's done, you'll add the attribute switch ignore startup CFG equals one. And then boot flash colon packages.conf. And this will boot into the operating system and bypass the startup configuration. So I have this sped up. So, because this entire process can take anywhere from six to 12 minutes, literally. All right, so do you want to uh, do the initial dialog? Of course, we say no. And as it boots up, it initializes all the ports. And then here we can enable, get into the enable mode, and then copy the startup config to the running config. So very similar to any of the previous switches that you're, you know and uh, are familiar with. Then we're going to go into configure terminal, enable secret, so you can make the password whatever you want or if you need to create a new username and with the different privileges you can do that here now once you get everything the way that you want it go ahead and write the memory you so you can do copy running config to startup config or write memory and then go ahead and reload And now again, when this reboots, we're going to stop the boot process, but just like when we first powered it on, you can actually do that same break sequence with the restart. So again, we need to wait for this initial booting to finish before pressing the button. You could hold the button down, but it's not gonna do you any good. Believe me, I know, I've tried. So now, at this point that you see the base Ethernet address, go ahead and push and hold at this point. And then you'll see these turn amber, and you can release. And then again, we're going to do flash init, and this time just do the exact opposite. So 
So switch ignore startup config equals zero, turn it off, and then boot flash package colon packages.conf to boot into it again. This time it will read the startup config based on what you just saved, and you have successfully you have successfully performed a factory reset. You can see, I'm fast forwarding through here, but you can see the different color sequences and lights, LED displays on the switch itself. But it does take a while to boot, several minutes. And just like normal, now everything's booting up with its initial configuration that you made, you created. And now you can go ahead and log in with the new username or enable secret that you uh, created previously. And that is it as far as the password recovery. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.